Hey everyone and welcome back to another GT Online video. Today we're going to analyze exactly how the Oppressor Mark II destroys the meta in terms of vehicle combat, and we're going to argue that point by looking at different categories that make a vehicle good in the game. In my opinion, the vehicle combat in GT Online before the Oppressor Mark II came out was the most balanced it has ever been. I can easily think of counters for every single vehicle in the game. Don't get me wrong, it definitely wasn't perfect, but at least we had something. After the Oppressor Mark II was released though, the balance went right out the window again, and here is why the Oppressor Mark II ruins the meta in GTA Online. The first reason is ease of access. The Oppressor Mark II can be called in right next to you as long as you are near a road. Even better than that though, it can be called in through the MC menu which speeds up the spawn process by a ton. And because it can be called in through the MC menu, it has no cooldown unlike any car or plane you can call in. The next category is Method of Transportation. The Oppressor Mark II can fly up to any altitude you want without having to come down to the ground ever, unlike the original Oppressor. And on top of that, with its speed glitch, it can go faster than any plane in the game. So it has the easiest method to access, and the best transportation in the entire game being able to fly and travel at speeds faster than jets with the speed glitch. The Oppressor Mark II also has weapons on it. The explosive MGs are nothing to write home about, but the missiles are some of the best in the entire game. They aren't quite up to par with the Ruiner missiles, but they are a close second for sure. You aren't going to see them miss too often. Just to summarize what we have so far, the Oppressor Mark II has the best ease of access, the best method of transportation, and some of the most accurate missiles in the entire game. Moving on to defense, it is very small in size and very maneuverable, making it a very hard target to hit with missiles that aren't extremely good at tracking. But it also has countermeasures. By putting chaff on this vehicle, you can render the Stromberg counter that worked for the Oppressor Mark I completely useless. Because it has countermeasures, there are zero matchups where the Oppressor Mark II is at a clear disadvantage unless you count the fully loaded Ruiner one because it can't lock onto it. To wrap up everything that I've talked about in this video, the Oppressor Mark II ruins the meta and becomes a crutch vehicle because it is the easy to access being able to spawn right next to you with no cooldown, it is the best way to get around the map because it can fly with no limits and go faster than jets, it has some of the best weapons in the entire game, and it has countermeasures. It is at the top of every category you put it in and with all this combined it makes for a vehicle that is super unbalanced with hardly any dedicated counters that put it at a disadvantage breaking the somewhat balanced vehicle combat that was in place before it was added into the game. Let me know what you guys think about the Pressure Mark II's balance in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.